Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Thursday, May 9, 2024. May God be with you today and may he show you favor and may his light shine on you today. Our reading today comes to us from Exodus chapter 7, reading from verse 10 to 12. And it says, And Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as the Lord had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers, now the magician of Egypt. They also did in like manner with their enchantments. For they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallow up their rods. But Aaron's rod swallow up their rods. Amen. Now, what we can get from this story is that the magician of Egypt seems to perform several things with their enchantments that is similar to, to what Moses and Aaron did through the aid of God or what God did through them. So, it's not that they really cause the rod to become serpents, the magician of Egypt. But it was done through magic and the aid of the great deceiver, which is Satan. It wasn't real. I mean, it was real enough to deceive, yes. But it came from deception. It, the whole purpose of it was to deceive and to cause to rebel. It solidifies the rebellion against God. That was the purpose of it. And that is why we must be careful of the things that we entertain sometime and say it is God or the Holy Spirit. Because some of these things, they are really not from God, but they are set up as deception to deceive people and to drive people away from God. And so that you need to be absolutely sure that you are guided by the Spirit and influenced by the Spirit. Because Satan will stop it at nothing to make sure that you continue to rebel against God, especially if you are already in confusion about your spirituality and about your relationship with God. And if you have the intention to rebel and to defy God, then Satan will use that as an ammunition to destroy you and to use you to stand against God. So I know when we look out in the world today, we see everybody today a miracle worker i have never seen so much miracle worker in all my life but you think all of those are from god of course not a lot of those are orchestrated by the devil to deceive people am i saying that god don't work miracle of course not the bible says that god works miracle the bible encourages us that if we pray and we believe then he can work miracles just the same but the point i'm making is that you have to know whether or not the thing is of God or it is of the devil. And the way to know is by studying the word of God. Because what? Truth cannot be hidden. Amen? So because of their magic and their sorceries, they made their rods appear like serpents. Understand? So they were trying to counterfeit the work of God. But praise God that his work cannot be thrown down. God's word stands forever. So as I said earlier that Satan assisted his servants to resist God. So they, these magicians along with Pharaoh, they were the servants of Satan. So a lot of people today who you see going around saying they're performing miracles and they're doing all kinds of things. They are just Satan's servants. They are, they are not working for God. And I'm not saying this to discourage and to point finger on anyone. But I'm saying that we have to be careful. And the Bible warns us about being deceived. The Bible said that even Satan can present himself as an angel of light. And so we have to be careful. We cannot be gullible. We must not be gullible. We must use wisdom. And we must examine these things to see if they are of God. So in all of this, Pharaoh was looking for reason to stand against God. He didn't want to comply with God. He didn't want to humble himself and so he was looking for a reason to convince him so that he could stand in, in constant defiance against God. 
and that's something that we have to be careful about if you have a problem with complying with god and being obedient to god and you're looking for reason to back up your statement or your claim it is a guarantee that you're gonna find it just like pharaoh and so we need to be careful we need to be careful so he was just looking for reason to justify himself and to resist god that's what he was doing and so his response was basically that you can turn your rod into snake but we can do the same thing too there's almost something identical to it but is it real or is it true certainly not and so you have to be careful lest you are deceived because there are a lot of things that is going to appear that it is really god and it is of god but it's really not and if you don't know the truth and if you are not allowing the spirit to guide you then you will be deceived i will be deceived and so we have to be mindful of that so the difference between the work of god and that of the magician was that the work of god it was what true and that of the magician it was false it is as simple as that so one is authentic and one is fake one is to guide you away from rebellion and lead you to god and the other is set up to aid you to stand in rebellion and defiance against god so one lead to light and the other to destruction and so i pray this morning that we will really open our eyes and that we will not allow ourselves to be deceived but that we will look to him who is able to reveal to us the things that belongs to him may god bless you and keep you